this is the best tool for enhancing drum loops ever. Period. Let's go. What is up you guys, Orlando here with Alicia Records Studio. Another tutorial for you guys today. I wanted to show you the best tool for enhancing drum loops that I found. 99% of the time I'm just reaching that to enhance my drum loops. But before that, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And I wanted to show you guys uh, this beat that I have here right now. And um, it's just a tropical beat. And I'm using a lot of drum loops. The way I work with loops is I try to modify the sound or enhance them. And that's what the best plugin I found for that comes into play. I'm talking about Multipass by Kilohertz. This plugin is amazing. It's a multiprocessor and you can do wonders with it. So before anything, I'm gonna show you how this sounds like, and I'm gonna show you the before and after uh, using multi-pass. We're gonna go into explaining uh, what it's actually doing. Uh, let's take a listen here. Okay, so it's a pretty simple, you know, happy tropical beat, right? So this is the drum loop I'm using, the main one. So that's now. Um, how did it sound before using multipass? Let me disable this plugin really quick and show you how it sounded like before. massive difference of course as you can see uh, this is divided by bands in this case you have like five bands below 389 hertz which is the low end basically we're using here a compressor if you're using presets which i am in this case i'm using a preset called drum punch you need to go in and tweak it a little bit we are controlling the low end a lot it's uh sounding something like this Now, without the compressor. Bringing up that low end, that punch band here is from 389 to 700. And uh, that band sounds like this. There's a lot of punch there from the snare or the percussions that are going um, into that. And of course, we're using a um, distortion plug in a saturation that's giving it a little bit more body. On the mids here, from 700 to 1.6K, another compressor here. And uh, let's hear that band. without compression. As you can see, it's bringing up that um, sound, that percussive sound down there. Uh, from 1.6 to 2.1, uh, we're using a reverb here. So let's listen to that.
So the river is just giving a little bit more space to that area there, more wide of a sound, right? So the same happens with the top end right there from 2.16 all the way up. Also, after all those effects, the ending signal it's getting um, shaped by a transient shaper in this case. And we're giving a, um, a little bit of attack and also a little bit of sustain as well. Transient shaper is key. It's key for loops as well. It's why I love also multipass because a transient shaper alone can do a really good job, but a multipass allow you to control all those bands individually so you can create a more complete sound within that loop. And that's all for today's tutorial. A quick, quick tutorial for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, let me know, do you use multipass or do you use something similar to enhance your loops? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. And also, if you want to see uh, the videos that we have in Spanish, we have a dedicated channel in Spanish for that. And it's uh, called Orlando. It's O-R-L-A-N number two. And you can look up uh, that also in this channel under the channel tabs. And you can subscribe to that channel in Spanish as well if you want to. So until next video, guys, uh, don't stress. Do your best. Be blessed. Forget the rest. See you in the next tutorial.